Okay, so first of all, it's been quite a journey to get here. So thank you so much for having me. Um, I want to start my presentation um, showing you a few questions that I don't really expect to answer uh, through this exposition, but it helps me to frame the work that I've been doing during the last year as part of the MFA in Intermedia at Concordia. And also I think it's, um, it's a good insight into my, my approach to the image making. So the first one is what do selfies have in common with contemporary art? And also what are the images that have the right to enter the museum or gallery space? So in order to um, get into this conversation, I think it's important to first define what a selfie is. Um, according to Croatian art historian and new media professor Anna Pareka, uh, selfies are networked based self-portraits. This objectification and medi mediation of reality cannot but draw to a conclusion it might have been we have arrived at a stage that reality cannot be experienced and learned directly, but only as mediated and reflected. Similar, sorry, similarly, at the, as the self cannot be subjectified. So with this in mind, we can recognize a set of artistic operations or strategies um, in the way contemporary subjects um, use technology and self-representation or portraiture of reality. We look for decors, we choose the right plane, we edit, crop, filter, and mask ourselves and our context. As Amelia Jones mentioned in her 2006 book, Self Image, we don't know how to exist anymore without imagining ourselves as a picture. So the first, work that I will show you is an audiovisual performance that I made this year that it's composed by a 3D film, a soundscape, both performed live. For the terms of this performance, I, I made a 2D version of the images um, and this work respond to my own uh, experience in the use of gay dating apps. I observed in these platforms the automatization and repetition of the exchange in terms of conversation, pictures, posing for the, for the pictures, descriptions, and so on. Um, the 3D piece is a camera performance where I quoted the standard fashion in which users of gay dating apps showcase themselves. And this image in a 2D version, as I said, were combined with advertisements, advertisement of export fruit that the government of my country, Chile, used to advertise their products internationally. So these are a few pictures of that. I would also add that the context in which I understand the selfie phenomena, it's related to what Hirosh Tyrell established in, in Defense of the Poor Image, 2009, 2009 text. She said, poor images are thus popular images, images that can be made and seen by the many. They express all contradictions of the contemporary crowd. It's opportunism, narcissism, desire for autonomy and creation, it's inability to focus or make up its mind, it's content readiness for transgression and simultaneous submission. Altogether, poor images present a snapshot of the affective condition of the crowd, its neurosis, paranoia and fear, as well as its craving for intensity, fun and destruction. They testify to the violent dislocation, transferals, and displayments of images, their acceleration and circulation within the vicious cycles of audiovisual capitalism. And this is an excerpt of the video piece.
Um, thank you. The second piece is related and it was also made during the last time and it's a um, multi-channel video installation. Um, it was a large projection and L eight LED screens. And for this piece, I follow the same direction, but I uh, I wanted to foreground two things. The first one is the physical relation to the device, um, because um, unlike in the past where the internet was in front of us through a, a computer screen, in um, nowadays um, the bodies are entirely inscribed in this domain of technology. We live with them and we we carry them all the time. The second point is the racial the racial tension that these platforms um, produce in terms of self-representation for non-white bodies. Um, and here it is one of the tensions that I found uh, with those artistic strategies that I mentioned at the beginning that technology um, offered to users. But these um, sort of uh, channels of expression are very framed within what the systems offer. So you really need to follow the rules that these platforms offer you. And in this piece, that it's um, combined with the same um, advertisement, the fruit advertisement, and selfie sessions, um, Uh, the body is a landscape with no perspectival object-subject relation and the refusal of perspective is a refusal of objectification made in a row as poor images and the video performances embody an idea of conscious self fetishization And finally, the third piece that I will uh, share with you, it's um, the work that I made during the summer. Um, and it has um, like a provisional name. It's called Brown Narcissus, number one. And in this piece, I wanted to take the, um, this idea that selfies are always related to narcissism. So, um, I was very interested in the selfies in mirrors. They are a very 
common type of self-representation. We see many of those. Uh, it's a very uh, claustrophobic type of um, representation because we see an image that it's repeated infinitely. Um, also, um, I was interested in uh, what uh, Pereka uh, said about the democratization of the self-representation as an antique human desire only conquered through mobile phones and technology for the first time in history. Um, however, as I said before, in the context of globalization, these network-based uh, self-portraits cannot be fully catalogued as individuals' expression, as uh, individuals expressing themselves through selfies are rather inscribing these actions in endless chains of neoliberal overproduction. So, uh, by also taking the idea of narcissism, I produced this piece. I'll just show you a few images. And it was my first time trying to create an expanded cinema experience. Um, and I played here with uh, an idea of narration that is not really uh, an st a storytelling, it's just use of words that um, quote the narration of something, but they're not really narrating anything in particular. Um, quoting a mythical language, uh, which is contradict for once again, video selfie performances. So I'll just show you the piece. Thank you. 